The Gemara Masech the Shabbos on Dav Chafalfa on Beis describes the miracle of Hanukkah that the Syrian Greeks defiled all the oil on the Heichal and when the Chashmanom entered the Heichal they searched for a flask of oil to light the menorah. They only found one flask. It only had enough oil to last for one night and miraculously it lasted for eight nights. The Gemara is clearly saying the miracle of Hanukkah is that they found oil that only had enough to last for one night and it miraculously lasted for eight nights. The miracle of the oil. On the other hand, if we study the al the al tells us the miracle of Hanukkah, celebration of Hanukkah, is Rabbim Biyad Ma'atim, the many in the hands of the few, Tameyim Biyad Tehoyrim, the impure Syrian Greeks fell to the Jews, the military victory. The al is clearly saying that Hanukkah is a celebration of the war. So what was it? Is Hanukkah a Yom Tif to celebrate the miracle of the oil, or is it a Yom Tif commemorating the military victory? Furthermore, we could ask, why was the miracle of the oil needed at all? The Pnei Yehoshua, the Shal Sotshuvas Chacham Tzvi, they both ask, there's a halachic principle, Toma Hutra Betzibor, that when the majority of the Jewish people are impure, you're allowed to do the service in the Beis HaMikdash in a state of impurity. So why did they even have to, why was the miracle of the oil necessary? They could have used impure oil and lit with impure oil for eight days. They didn't need a flask of pure oil to last for eight days. They could have used impure oil. Toma Hutra Betzibar. We find in this week's parsha, Parsha's Vayeshev, that the brothers, they were jealous of Yosef and they threw him into the pit. And Ruvain says, you know what? Let's not kill Yosef. Let's sell him to the Yishma'elim. And the Pasuk says, Parak Lamed Zayin, Pasuk Chavhei, Vayeshvu le'achal lechem. They sat to eat bread and they lifted up their eyes and they saw, Vihine orchas Yishma'elim ba, a caravan of Yishma'elim were coming from Gilad, Ugmalehem noisim, and their camels we're carrying all kinds of fragrant spi- spi- uh, spices. Nechais, Utsri, Volait, Holchim Lahayrid Mitzrayma. These camels were carrying all kinds of aromatic substances. And Rashi is troubled. Why, why does it concern us? Why do we need to know what the camels were carrying? Rashi says, Lama Pirse Makosavas Masam. Says Rashi, Lahoidia Matan Scharon shall Tzadikim to teach the great reward of the righteous. Shein Darkon shall Arviyam Lasi Sela Naft Vitron Sharechan Ra. It's not the derech, it is not the way of Arabs to ca- carry aromatic spices, only things of foul odor. Says Rashi, but for Yosef HaTzadik, for Lazen, Nizdamnu Besam, and for Yosef HaTzadik, they were carrying aromatic substances, substances, Shalo Yuzak Meireach Ra, so he should not be harmed from the foul smell. It's a very difficult Rashi. Rashi is telling us that HaKadosh Baruch Hu did a great favor for Yosef, that his kidnappers, that his hijackers, were carrying substances that smelled good. Do you think it concerned Yosef, how his kidnappers smelled. Yosef was on the top of the world. He was learning Torah from his father. He had the special garment, the Ksoynes Pasim. It was the last thing on Yosef's mind. At the time that he was being sold into slavery and his world was crashing down, what the camels were carrying. Of what significance is it? Why, why does it even concern us? Why would it have even dawned on Yosef to pay attention to the smell of the items the kidnappers were transporting? So Zeb Chaim Shmulevitz, the aroma, the good aroma, the pleasant aroma of Yosef's kidnappers was sending Yosef a very important message. Yes, Yosef's world was coming crashing down. He was being kidnapped from Yaakov Avinu. He was being taken to the most degenerate society in the world. He was all by himself, a young boy. In Yosef's mind, he may have thought God was forsaking him. God was abandoning him. He was being cast away. 
the good aroma, the pleasant aroma, was showing Yosef, no, Hashem is not banishing you. You're not being cast away. Just the opposite. Hashem is taking you there. He's holding you by the hand. Hashem has a mission for you. You may not understand it. You may not know what it is. But the Rebbe Hashem is not abandoning you. He's guiding you. Says Rebbe Chaim Shmulevitz, similarly, when it comes to the story of Hanukkah, certainly, the great miracle of Hanukkah is the military victory. Our lives were in danger. The Syrian Greeks persecuted us for religious observance. We had to win the war to save our lives. The miracle of the oil was certainly not halachically necessary, but it put the miracle of the war in the proper context. We may have thought God was saving our life because He has to save our life. We're His people. He has no alternative. If He doesn't save our life, there won't be a Jewish people. Hashem didn't want us to think He's saving our life just because He had to. Hashem wanted to show He's saving our life because He loved us. The miracle of the oil was an added touch, a touch of love, so that we recognize and understand and appreciate that the military victory was not because Hashem had to save us, but rather it's because He loved us. Chaim Shulevitz explains that when a person gives a gift, a watch, or any other item, the gift is certainly the most valuable part of the matana, of the present. But the wrapping paper and the bow add a certain touch, a certain dimension. It's a certain touch of love that is added to the gift. Says Reb Chaim Shmulevitz, Certainly, the primary miracle of Hanukkah was the military victory. However, the, mir the, the miracle of the oil, the miracle that the oil lasted for eight days, was a touch of love, was the wrapping paper, was the bow. It was a kiss from Hashem. Reb Chaim Shmulevitz says this is analogous to a family that lost an heirloom, and they were searching for it for the longest time. And one of the children finds the heirloom and returns it to the father. And the whole family is overjoyed that the heirloom was found. And the father goes over to the boy and he gives the boy a kiss on his head. So while everyone is overjoyed that the heirloom was found, this boy has extra joy. Because not only was the heirloom found, but he also merited a kiss from his father. So Reb Chaim Shmulevitz, the, the celebration of Hanukkah is the celebration of the military victory. But the added touch of the miracle of the oil was a kiss from Hashem. And that is the greatest cause of celebration. Wishing everyone a wonderful week and a Freilichen Hanukkah Haba Aleinu Letaipah.